Uh, let's see, we want to go over here. Anything you want, child. So we got moldy cheese, wind ring, and acid vial. Oh, so every single one of these keys, uh, every every single one of the keys we get unlocks a new item. Good. I'm gonna just grab potentially everything. Now, do I start with all of them, or do I only start with one? I guess we'll find out. Alright, upwards we go. Alright. Oh yeah, he does have a cat. Pet the cat. Oh, you have returned. Oh, what? No, nothing. Nothing? I'm glad you still seem to be in one piece. Okay. So I do have all of it, which will be balanced in early access because it's really easy to be broken. Kind of. I feel like it would be really easy to get broken for like a single round. Yeah, there are the items. Like it would be really easy to get broken for a single round. And then once you've unlocked everything, you default back to a much weaker state. But you yourself are better at the game, which balances it back out again. I almost might say it might be fine. Like, you 100% you could just do, like, some crazy cheesed run uh, where you chain one really good run to the next until you've unlocked any items, but then at that point, the gravy train is over. I don't know. I I could see it being either way, uh, but I'm looking forward to this run. I am really looking forward to this run. <laughs> Okay, so I only have occasional po poison bullets. That's the that's the balance on them. Yeah, check collection just to see what they do. Yeah, I probably should do that. All right, collection. So acid vial. Uh, bullets have a chance to poison enemies. Increase your speed and shot speed. Woo! And bullets stay on the screen a little longer after they die. Cool. Yeah, I think. I don't know. I, I would actually say Benstar, I think it is just by nature balanced, unless you could rebuy the items to start with. And I think even then, to some degree, that would actually be kind of a fun thing once you've unlocked everything, if you could, like, pick one item to start with. But, obviously, that's me always wanting a leg up so I can become ridiculous. Okay. All in! What do we get? Chance for a second soul to spawn on enemy death. Oh, that's lovely. Hey, thank you, Marty, for the raid, and welcome on in. We are playing Ravita, which is an absolutely fantastic roguelike that is coming out on March 3rd. Now, how is it? Uh, it's super good. I I played the... Was it the last indie game festival? I think it was. Uh... Yeah, I played that months ago, and it was fantastic. And, I mean, obviously, this is just more and better. I'm still bad at it. Th this is absolutely going to be one of those roguelikes that I'm straight up not going to win at for, like, a month. And then eventually I'll have, like, the breakthrough run that just gets the really busted junk. That finally wins. Uh, yeah, I guess we'll go shopping. I'll have to check it out. Yeah. Okay. I'm just gonna go for the damage up. Not sure how much I wanted to do that, but a little bit of bonus damage would be nice. Okay. Why do these flies look so suspicious? What did I what did I do to deserve their ire? My life for hire. Okay. Do I bother with a treasure room? Or do I just let my HP stack up? We don't have a whole lot of shields here. Ow! That's what that guy does. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> well that kind of solves it. Ooh, 
hello? Oh, that's convenient. Big bullet! Oh, yeah. Now that sounds promising. Oh, shit. Taking damage straight up nuked my uh, multiplier there. That's rough. I'm certainly missing the shot speed bonus that I had the previous round. Or the uh, fire rate up. Okay. Time to fight this schmuck. Man, this is a really quick roguelike. I wonder how many levels there are going to be. You played Binding of Isaac, that's why the flies hate you. Yeah, alright. Here's a question. Can poison damage, like, stack? Okay, I should actually pay attention to him and not just his health bar. I just walked into that one like a goof. Well, is what it is. Let's go get big bullets. Unfortunately, playing this game at the end of the night is not necessarily my, the brightest plan I've had in a while. Okay, let's get some big bullet. 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 Oh, that's interesting. You might want to pay attention to the music to some of the enemy rooms. You might find something. Ooh. <laughs> ben Star, Wii Port Win, so we can play Ruida. I. Wii Vita. <laughs> oh, that's just mean. Oh, shoot. Check out these shonky guns. That does... That's an interesting question, though. Of... If you could port it to some random-ass platform that you somehow wish you could put it on, what would it be? Like, arcade cabinets, the Virtual Boy? So what game was it recently? There's some some game that was straight up like ported to the SNES. Game Boy Advance port would be wild. I bet it would work too. Vita for the joke of it. <laughs> That's a good point, Ravita. I I believe actually there was something recently that some fans ported to. Uh, to the Vita, but I don't remember which game it was. I I saw an article for it like a couple days ago. And it sounded neat. Alright. All in. Give me the good stuff. Tissue. Poisons enemies on contact dash included. Oh, well that's, um... I know I can dash into enemies that might not get wrecked. It was a horror game that was literally just got released on Game Boy. Like, obviously, that's a super niche thing and you'd almost have to, like, fund that purely through a Kickstarter. Because there's no other way that that would actually make enough to do well, but... I don't know. I was wondering about that. It's like if a developer could have could have been active at any other point in game dev history, when and where would it, that have been? I'm so garbage at auto cues. Part of the problem is, because I'm talking all the time, uh, I'm just jamming along to the music and not really paying attention to it. I'm sure if I was in just absolute silence, this would be a lot easier on me. Ow. Really? I didn't think they would pop up that much. Unfortunately, this means I am very much near death. Hello. Yes, I would like none of these things, as they will all kill me. I wonder what would happen if I pick up the shield. We're doing it. Ah, straight up won't let me. That honestly makes sense. Peace out. Oh, 
we unlock another item. Ice cream. Oh, sweet. So now my energy can carry over. Aha! I didn't hear the music. I just figured I'd shoot a wall. I'm so trash at finding secrets in these games, it's not even funny. Because, yeah, it's a mixture of... I'm kind of impatient. Uh, let's see. Do we hail Mary for a treasure chest? We've got armor, so we can give it a shot. Time to die! Golden bullet. Oh, hell yeah. All I need to do is get the one that increases my damage based on how low my HP is, and then we're then we're in a good spot. Undead Wander. Hell yeah. Now, do the secrets ever spawn up high? I don't know. We'll find out. Clearly, clearly, next time I find a secret, I should just stop and stand there for a bit and just listen. Wait, zero health and a dream. I'm getting pretty good at fighting denial. Sometimes he just aces me. Part of the problem, I think, is he's still a little flashy. Which honestly makes it a little hard to pay attention to anything else. How do I turn that off in the settings? Yeah, it's off. I guess that just does not count as a bright flash. I'd hate to know what a bright flash is if this isn't a bright flash. Okay, it is included in the flashes in the early access version. Good, because that's a little hard to look at. Did I not get anything fancy for that? Aw. Okay. I don't think there's anything ever over there, but it, I always check just in case there's somebody lurking. Sup? Okay. So... What? What? Why is the upgrade on Big Bullet... ...reducing it? Okay, it should say plus 40%. Honestly, Big Bullet is not actually going to be that helpful. We're, we're just going to go for the extra fire rate on Golden Bullet. Alright, no HP, one shield, and a dream, and a lot of shoot fast. Still near death, but it is what it is.
Like, this is, this is not a roguelike that I expect to survive much on for, like, the first 100 runs. Yeah, 1 HP is all you need. The problem is I'm a very inattentive person. So I will absolutely just waltz into a bullet because I'm not paying any attention. Well, these flies do shoot at you. I thought they just floated in your general direction and then died. So early, early access uh, for streamers. Uh, talk to the publisher first. Bet at me, publisher. It's all right. Ha. Ah. I'm fine with being patient. The problem is, I think this is the single busiest... Okay, the secret music is actually a lot more obvious than I give it credit for. Uh, let's see. Oh, I probably should have healed before I did that. Oh, well. Yeah, let's just kill these guys first. But yeah, I, I don't think I've ever seen a busier time of the year for really good new roguelike releases. Because we have Loop Hero coming up that they're, like, drip-feeding to us. We've got Curse of the Dead Gods in a couple of days. We had Ultimate Adom release. 30XX. Uh, shoot. I know there's at least one or two others that I've totally forgotten about, too. Hello? Extra shields at the start of each area. Cool. That's... Well, I mean, it gave me an extra shield right then and there. Isaac at the end of the march, which is scaring the heck out of me. Oh, is it... Is it the end of the... End of march? On the flip side, you are launching into early access, which gives you kind of a... A bit of a, uh... A lot of wiggle room. Because... If you're going full 1.0, this would be real risky, because you really only ever get one 1.0 release. Um, I mean, obviously, it's a little late now. There's a there's a couple of ways to, like, kind of game Steam, but uh, ju just to kind of ex further explain why I'm talking about it. Uh, developer only gets generally two releases on Steam. Uh, once in early access and once when it goes 1.0. Uh, you can get some small boost when you do, like, uh, major patches or, like, a big sale or something like that. But generally, they never see quite the same, like, sales spike as, uh, as, you know, the initial early access or 1.0 launches. Uh, sometimes they're... Oh, I guess also big DLCs can do it, too. But the way I've seen it games is... I've only ever seen a couple of companies do this, where they do, uh... Ooh, is that a heart container? Nope, that's just health. Eh, I'll take it. Yeah, free weekends are good for game sales. Can be, not always. Depends on the game. Uh, but what you do is you do, like, a super early access, like, secret launch on Discord with only your, like, biggest fans. And then you... Then you scale it up a little bit. Uh... Then you do itch.io, then you do epic, then you do steam early access. Uh, let's see what's in here. Then you do finally 1.0, uh, and then you do console launches separately. Do I sense a fellow soul, fellow soul that's been lost? Has our savior arrived? Quick child, come over here. This sounds ultra cursed, we're doing it. We are weak, child. All that's left of us is our flaming soul. If you could give us some of your HP, we might be able to return. Are you willing to part with one HP of yours in order to bring back this lost soul? Yes. Then the GPA port. Yes. Thanks for... Oh, no, it's a woman. I thought it was the chest talking. Thanks for saving me, kiddo. About time, to be honest. You can't imagine how terrifying it was to be stuck there as a floating soul for all this time. Anyway, I should get back to my business. If you ever feel like luck is with you... Why not pay a visit to my chest lottery? I'll set up shop in some of the tower floors from time to time, so be sure not to miss it. And then the fridge port. True. 
Please make sure it has the rumble pack. <laughs> um. But I would say, like, there's probably still a fair amount of room. And I'm not sure if I would be most worried about Binding of Isaac at this point. I feel like Binding of Isaac... Well... Yeah, he won't let me get it. I feel like Binding of Isaac... I'm not going to say is an old hat. It tends to devour a lot of people's time, but... I don't know. It doesn't feel like the hype is nearly there as much as it used to be. Okay, this is going to suck. Please die. That trap is in the absolute worst location for me. Do I bother with the shop? Nah. Like, Binding of Isaac people will play Binding of Isaac. But I don't feel like it's going to be taking up a whole lot of marketing. It'll probably take up people... I don't know. I I wish I understood the market more. I've obviously been doing this for a long time, and I think about this often, but I still don't really understand how, like, games industry marketing works. Like, there could be some just absolutely fantastic... Okay, this is menacing. Okay, he's up there now. I wonder... Okay, so that doesn't hit me if I'm... below him. Now he's mad. Luckily I can just sit here shooting. I'm so glad I can just hold down the shoot button. I don't remember which roguelike it was, but you really did have to click every single time you wanted to shoot. And it was the worst thing ever for my fingers. Yep. Ow. That hurt. Got him! Frida will just threaten his audience to buy easy peasy. I feel like your audience is easy to convince Rito. If it's got roguelike in the genre, then it's solid. I have the hardest time convincing people to like uh, to like certain ones where I'm like, oh man, this game's amazing, and everybody's like, eh. And then I start playing something stupid, like just the worst game. I like Mazgen. I think Mazgen is one of my most popular. Uh, videos that I've done recently where it's just like, why did you like this? This game is terrible. End of the line for now. Secret uncovered. Did we just fart ourselves to death? Well, I guess so. Yep, that was freaking good. This game's fantastic. Alright, let's do a couple more runs, even though we've already beaten all of this available content. I'm having a good time. Uh, let's see. Ice cream has been, been unlocked and can now appear in the tower. And Glow Shroom has been unlocked. Don't know what those do, we'll find out. Yeah, everyone has dis different tastes. Oh, it's true. It's just like... I, I will absolutely find a new game that I'm really looking forward to, and I think it's going to be an absolute banger. And then I start, like, covering it, and everybody's like, eh. It's like, no, love this game as oh, much as I do. Did you notice yeah. something? It looks like the slumbering tree is blossoming. <laughs> Whatever you're doing to this tower, it seems to be affecting the tree in some manner. Stop it! Would you do me a favor? Would you be willing to check on the tree? in on the tree from time to time. I'll even reward you if you can get more flowers on it to bloom. Those rewards might not always be immediately of use. But I'm sure you can figure something out. Oh. So, Chivos. Die and return to the station five times. Discover a secret room for the first time. Rewards map key. Fake bill. Clear a shop completely. Smithy's hammer. Make it through the entire boss fight on low health without focusing. Wait, focus? Did I did I miss a feature? <laughs> Beat the gazing grove and funi uh, fun gated funnels. Uh, back. 
What is focus? Uh, settings? Controls? Oh, focus is the heal. Right. Duh. Oh, child, would you look at that? The tree has blossomed some more, and so you shall receive your reward. Have all this junk. Oh, God. Okay, now I see how this this can be cheesed a little bit. <laughs> ben, give me modded copy with bullet king face on Revita Kid. I title it Gungeon 2 and link, link the game on Steam. Big, large money for you. <laughs> Hello, young one. Are you here to listen to this old bark? Okay, so that's it. I... Gosh, if I was ever in charge of a development studio, dumb things would happen. I would love that idea, though. Alright. So some of these actually look kind of fancy, like the Smithy's Hammer. And Fake Bill. Let's just get, uh... Iron Boot. Nope, cute doll. Has been unlocked. Cool. Let's get out of here. We got a bunch of cute stuff. I'm rolling cute right now. Now the real question is, will we get a Rito hoodie if Rito manages to beat this game on no HP, no HP containers, one shield, and never focuses? Because I feel like... I feel like that that is an a ample and reasonable challenge to deserve uh, tinting uh, Ravita Kid's hoodie red. I feel like the easiest thing ever. Still have heart palpitations from Robusta Year 10. Ah, oh, shoot. I wanted to pick up those soul things, but I don't dare get down down here while this sucker's around. We should probably figure out what my um what my items do. Ice cream. Bullets have a chance to freeze enemies. Increases damage and your bullets have a chance to inflict a random satisfact. Oh, that's lovely. Gives your heart container uh, gives you a heart container and increases your fire rate. Oh, what those are great. That explains a lot. I will say, like, do not actually go wildly- I deserve that. Do not go wildly out of your way to, uh, do a bunch of effort just to reward, like, streamers. I mean, obviously, we love it, but... Always focus on the game first and make it as good as it possibly can be. Then do the dumb shit. Unfortunately, oh, I'm getting hungry. I've been streaming for what? Almost six hours. Offer 2 HP, 2 HP. I should pay more attention. Bullets are pulsing, pulsating, and increase your bullet range. I'm not really seeing the pulsating. Okay, no, now I'm seeing the bullet pulsating. That's some words. I know. Pulsating is one of those words that just, like, hearing someone say it, I just get kind of uncomfortable. I was probably risking it a bit. I like the freezy bullets. Oh. Well, there's a soul in that, but I think I want to stay very, very far away from you. Getting close. Nope. I don't know what the sound difference here is. You focus, rip run. I'm not getting that achievo. Throbbing bullet. That would be worse. Puls pulsating, pulsating is weird. Throbbing is just ah. Now where would Girthy fit on that one? Like pul pulsating is probably the lightest. Hello, golden bullet. Golden, golden bullet. Yeah, undulating. Undulating had like undulating is weird. Moist bullet. Oh god. Like 
I feel like Moist Bullet would at least be... Like, you kind of know what you're getting into with that one, so it doesn't... It's not so bad. Hello. Swing a fast and mighty sword that can even destroy most projectiles. Sub-weapon. Oh, I see. That's cool. Swollen. Ooh, gosh. Swollen bullet sounds just disturbing. Well, I have unlocked the sword, but instead I'm just going to shoot from above, where safety is. Engorged. Ooh, that'd be one. Yeah. You know what? I need to... Gonna... Oh, shoot. I should do that after this. Uh, I want to rank adjectives. Like, just sit down and, like, am amass a giant list of these horrible adjectives that I never, ever want to see applied to, like, a, a weapon or a power-up in a video game. I'm gonna write that down a little bit. <laughs> Chat's making you uncomfortable. I'm sorry you started it. I've been writing down all sorts of weird ideas. Moldy bullets. I feel like moldy bullets would at least have kind of like a... Moldy bullets I can get. It's just a lot of the other bullet types would be just concerning. Turgid. Actually, tur Turgid's kind of fun to say. <laughs> Flaccid bullets. <laughs> they just bounce off the enemy. Maybe they do half damage, but they bounce around a little bit. And yeah, they don't fly straight either. They kind of wobble. But I, I've been writing down all sorts of weird ideas. Uh, I, I think I would call it like my channel midlife crisis. I've seen a number of whoa, that was weird. Uh, but I've se I've seen a number of other creators talk about this, where like they've been doing YouTube or Twitch uh, for X number of years, and just kind of after, after a certain point. Okay, there we go. Now he's mad. See if we can just kill him before he actually gets to do anything to me. Yep, he is on a stomping spree. Hell yeah, status effects. Hell yeah, shot rate. Damn. Okay. Hey, free upgrade. Key and damage up. Uh, but so my like channel midlife crisis is very much just kind of switching my content st style a little bit so I'm not like stuck on games for as long because I think that just that that's become mildly unhealthy for me. Um, but I also really want to just start doing a bunch of weird ass one off videos on just all sorts of stuff. Oh, there's a bunch of them. Hey, yeah, we're just gonna hang out. Just kinda do whatever. Y'all just ride this train every day, endlessly. That's actually kinda cool. I used to do that a lot. Like in college. Kind of in college. Kind of in high school. Mostly... Gosh, I don't even remember when. It was like here and there. I used to live in Boston. And... One of my favorite hobbies was to just hop on the train and just draw people around me. In retrospect, it wasn't the most comfortable thing ever. Uh, mainly just because, you know, it's all rumbly, especially on buses. But I, got, I have sketchbooks full of, like, portraits of people that just went by. Most of them don't, didn't notice. A couple of them were, like, really cool about it and wanted to see afterwards. And then, like... One lady was so freaked out and mad that she straight up, like, bolted for the door the moment it opened. And then, like, I could see her in the next car down because she was that not cool with me drawing her. I felt a bit bad, but, like, I don't know. Ever have any particularly stupid ideas you need a bonus man for? I, uh... 
I gotta start organizing that. Uh, I guess Rito, I had talked to about potentially doing interviews. I think that's one of the first things I want to dive in on. Because I feel like interviews would be easy. Okay, so that's extra bullet, bullet range. Cute doll. Uh, let's see. Oh, shoot, the cute doll is actually way better for fire rate bonus. I wish that increased the chance of the status effect. Well, let's, uh, let's upgrade cute doll. Okay, 2 HP in a dream, and now I've got really long, long range, uh, turbo bullets. Okay. But yeah, my, my one issue with these kind of like one-off ideas that I really want to do is finding the time is tough. Oh, right, I do also have the, the sword. Bam! Okay, it does 20 damage. Whoop! That got spooky. I'm really digging these upgrades. This feels good. I don't know. I, I stand by my statement of I don't feel like starting with a bunch of power-ups. I mean, like, obviously I'm busted. But one thing I always run into with roguelikes is the idea of... You really want to get the cool power-ups in the hands of the players relatively quickly. Hey, six cents. Take the damage. And then so many roguelikes suffer from this kind of idea of just like, the first 25% of a run is just criminally boring in a lot of roguelikes. Or you just don't have anything interesting going on, you don't have a build. You just have strike, defend, bash, and maybe like one artifact that's not that helpful. Try healing one at full health. Will do. I assume that gets me potentially extra heart containers. Yep. Thought so. That's a good system. I was wondering about... I was wondering about that. Now the question is, do I want another heart container or... Eh... Yeah, let's go for the heart container. I've got all the art... Oh, I've got to do that maybe three times to get a heart container, though. Maybe. Maybe. Um, bum, 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 bum. Ooh, we want to open this one up. Whatever those uh, sparklies are, maybe they just give me sub-weapons, but the last time we went into one of those, it was cool. Gosh, I'm spooky. Yeah, I'm, just, I'm just having the hardest time finding enough free time to get everything done. I've been writing on my free time, which is good for me. Capricorn Shield. Big shield that protects you from enemies and bullets. Hold down button for prolonged use. Health plus one. Well, I didn't get the health up. Oh, it probably would have healed me one as opposed to like a health container. That makes sense. But, oh, trap. Damn it. We get a prison key. And help. Hey, I'll take it. Can you switch sub weapon? I don't think so. Wow. I'm pretty sure it won't let me. Yeah, so you really have to pump a lot of uh, a lot of HP in to get a to get a sub weapon there. Is what it is. That could kind of close for comfort. Okay, let's go over here. Let's do Battle Room. I'm feeling pretty good about Battle Room. Okay. Go for that. Defeat all enemies. Okay. There we go. 
Well, that insta gives me. That was rough. I should have popped up a platform. I... <laughs> I have the hardest time with those guys, specifically. Any enemy that just, like, erratically charges at you is just like, Ah, how do I deal with this? The answer is, I don't. I die. Uh, let's go Smithy's Hammer. That sounds really good. Thing is, it doesn't really matter. I... Since I've beaten this once, it's... I, I can kind of just chill and be like, Eh, I lost. I don't stand in the way. Yeah, there wasn't a whole lot of good places to be because... The problem is if I kill those maggots uh, on a platform directly above them, they pop the maggots up and they hit me in the feet, uh, which also hurts me. I guess the best thing I could have done was potentially, like, wall climbed a bunch? I don't know. Anyway, let's see what this does. One free additional upgrade when visiting the blacksmith. Cool. Not imme immediately useful just because we only get to visit the blacksmith once, but amazing later. Yeah, the maggots are meaties. meaties. Yep. Yeah, it's fine. Like so! Holy shit, they just sniped me! I'm like... I was pretty high up, too, and it's just like, maggot to the feet! I, I'm gonna say this now, I'm pretty sure the maggot is going to be the most dangerous enemy for me in this game. Yeah, I, I absolutely need like a week where I don't just have like a whole bunch of new releases so I can just chill and work on some other side projects. But I, I like, I've actually re resorted to getting my, uh, my fiance Shell to start recording some of these videos for me, uh, just to preserve my voice. I got that auto aim down. Speaking of, I gotta test that. Let us become maximum accessible. All right, and we get oh. The doll. Unfortunately, the doll gets me an extra max HP, does not actually fill it. Too accessible for the enemies to handle. I'm an easy access ramp. How you doing? Oh shit, I shouldn't be there. I guess the really safe place is to be directly behind the maggots. I don't know. Nothing here. I'm not honestly noticing the, uh... The auto-aim. Like, at all. What is going on in here? Oh, it's just this guy. Maybe it's just because I already have decent accuracy, so it's just like... I don't know what that does. Auto-dodge slider 2, please. Auto-battler roguelikes are new, new hotness. They absolutely are. Like... I almost die. <laughs> Holy shit. I was inside that slime, but it didn't matter. Hey! That's a good safeguard. Demo mode for the auto battler crowd. I. You joke. I would 100%. Like, I have no idea how the auto battler version of this would work. I guess the game just plays itself, and you're just more about managing what upgrades you get. But, like. You joke, I'd play it. I would 100% play, like, Otto the Isaac. Or, I mean, really anything. I, it's weird, but I really appreciate games where I don't have to play. I like that compass. I like that compass a lot. Mainly for the blessed damage, but also shows you what special rooms are in your current area. Might have wanted to go for the shield instead, but oh well. But yeah, if Demon can 
if Demon Crawl can make an auto battler royale, anything can work. Seriously. Shell's doing more games. Be cool to get her to play Paradise Killer. Damn it! I didn't even notice I was thinking about Paradise Killer. That's actually been on my to-do list since forever. I really want to get back uh get back and play some of the the rad indie games that it's No, come back. Actually, I don't think I have enough to unlock any item. Uh but like I missed I missed a whole lot of indie games over the last like two years, and I've really wanted to go back and finish some of them. Paradise Killer, uh Sayonara Wild Hearts. I'm sure there's like a billion more. And it's like I'm never gonna be able to finish any of them. That's the one thing. Do we need a maggot kill count? Maybe. <laughs> what are we at? Two? Three? They definitely hit me a lot. Like, more than most enemies. Bullets, I see them coming. They're coming at a reasonable pace, and they're understandable. Maggots? They're unpredictable. They're wild. They're wily, and they're ready to hit me in the tuchus. And apparently, my tuchus is incredibly weak to maggots. But this comes out really weird, but whatever. Yeah, Sign Air Wild Hearts is short. A little over an hour. Yeah, I just... It's... My problem isn't so much that I, I couldn't fit in the time, it's that I'd have to prioritize the time that I would spend on Sayonara Wild Hearts on something else that's newer, um, if that makes sense. Like... I guess the easier... I guess they're not... You can see them wind up. That's not that ridiculous. I'm usually just not paying attention to them, I guess, is the real answer. Uh, but... To some degree, it's like, would I rather play an hour of, uh, do I get both? Let's start with the hammer. I do get both. I think it was already full health. That's a little bit of a letdown. Oh, but yeah, do I dedicate an hour to that game, or do I dedicate an hour to Revita, for example? New game coming out soon that I'm really looking forward to. Chance to inflict a random status effect. I like that. Especially because, you know, I somewhat know the developer. I know. At least I've been following uh, Ben Star working on this game for... Gosh, has it been like two or three years now? I've been following the de development uh, for this one for a while. Uh. Oh, I almost got hit by a maggot missile. <laughs> Holy shit, that missed me by a hair. Yeah, two years, I think. Gemini Blades, throw two quickly orbiting saw blades that damage enemies. That's cool. Uh, but, that like... it It's kind of my personal mission to try and cover a lot of the like really cool looking new games. And also especially the, uh, the games that I'm like a direct fan of. Well before I put time into something that I, I just am not a fan of or didn't get a free copy of. Which, I know that feels... that's kind of weird to say, but... Hello? Healing recovers more health. Oh, that's amazing, actually. Now it's time for me to get killed by a maggot and to completely squander that thing's existence. Huh. <sighs> I guess I can just zip by. Got anything? Nope. It's final boss of Maggot. I... If there was a secret, like, Maggot boss that just charged you incessantly, I don't think I would beat it. Huh. Yeah, there are partial heart healing. That's weird. 
just a constant maggot spawner. Oh gosh, it would be like, um, there's a Hollow Knight boss uh, that is actually this. And I think it's to some degree part of the reason why I have so much trouble. It's the, uh, oh shoot, what is it? It's like straight up a Broodmother type enemy that just spawns infinite uh, critters. Yeah, Fluke Marm. Uh, no. Fluke Marm is annoying and definitely was like the hardest early boss. But no, there's a later one in the sewers. Because Fluke Marm is spooky, but... Or spooky just because of the constant uh, slamming. But no, there, there's another one... Isn't that the Fluke Marm? I thought the Fluke Marm was the, um, was the just, like, big one that would just, like... Oh, am I getting Grub Mother and Fluke Marm mixed up? It's been a while since I played Hollow Knight. <gasps> you dog, yes. I got it. I see Cute Doll, I take Cute Doll. It's got one of the best shot speed up, or shot rate up. I clicked out of the game. Well, it's a good time for me to click out of the game. But yeah, let's, let's see about destroying the boss with blades. Whoa, okay, that does do a lot of damage to him. But I should probably do that when he's closer to the ground so I don't accidentally jump into him like a fool. I should probably also pay attention to what I'm doing. Yeah, because I can't hit him when he's up here and I don't dare try and jump that. Because I don't trust myself. Wow. Yeah, that's pretty good. Damn it. I deserve that. I can't wait until this guy is not flashy, though. He is really hard to see around. Okay, there we go. Okay. Yeah, I, may, I, I guess kind of on this topic of me having terrible times planning my my schedule out and, like, finishing anything. I'm honestly getting pretty close to the point where I just... Ooh, do I want to go... What is... Oh, I can't upgrade Tasty Turnip. Do Cute Doll. I mean, honestly, we might as well upgrade both. I like how the cute doll actually pays for itself with a max health bonus. Uh, yeah, actually, increasing the duration isn't a bad idea. Alright, back to two health and a dream. It is my natural state of being in this game. Anything less than that, I don't really trust it. Oh, right. It's the other direction. Let's see. Has Wonder tried triangle tactics yet? I haven't. I want to. <laughs> the problem is, uh, Loop Hero has consumed my life. And so it's made it really difficult for me to get to anything else just because that game is that good. Um, not to say that this isn't, but this is early access. I, I, I am trying to not give judgment calls too much to early access game. This is promising. And I can't wait to see where the like final version ends up. And Wander has to clone himself too. I mean, once again, that's... One of the tricks is just to get Shell to do a lot of the work for me? Question mark? It feels weird to say, like, do the work for me. Because that makes me found, uh, makes me sound lazy. I just dodged into that one like a goof. Okay. If I do this, does it start on a heart container? It does not. But yeah, this is definitely why, like, a lot of larger creators start hiring interns or, uh, sort of branching out into being, like, companies or groups.
Uh, let's see. Don't have much here. I... I can offer one HP if I pay attention well. Never mind, I hate this item. If there's one item that I could remove from the pool, it would definitively be this one. Yeah, wholesome incorporated win. I win all of our channels are bigger and we can afford it. <laughs> also, to some degree, I'm not sure if I... Oh, wait, no. Sorry, that's not the item I hate. I hate the other one. This one's the good one. Eh, I like the sub-item that I have. Yeah, Wilson Versa will be the new Rooster Teeth. The problem is, like, one way or another, I doubt any of us would ever want to actually uh, sacrifice our autonomy for a group. Uh, at least fully. At least on, like, my end. Uh, I, Rooster Teeth, easy example. Uh, it would... It would be a tough sell to convince me to, say, work for them instead. Enemy bullets are slower. That's lovely. I'd like to grab a lot of these, but I am poor. So we're going to grab that one. Let's see. Wonder is the largest channel on the wholesome verse, right? I think so? Yeah. But, like, that doesn't mean much. Nor do I, like, really want to sit down and start comparing statistics, because that always gets really... Oops. I keep clicking onto this game. Comparing statistics is a very quick way to lose friends. And also just, like, be frustrated about stuff. Like, I've done it a couple of times over the years where, like, I cared a lot more about statistics and now mostly I just care about uh, my own personal one but like I remember back when I first started my channel I, I actually did lose some friends because everybody was way too concerned about like who is doing better and views and growth and like some people have been stagnant oops I don't have enough HP for this do I kill me rude I'm like, you know, five, five, six years ago, I definitely dreamed of the idea of, like, getting a group together into, like, one big office situation kind of thing. Uh, but I think the older I get, the more I realize that, like, I think that would be cool, but it would be hard to wrangle, and I don't think anybody really wants to commute. I cer certainly wouldn't want it. Especially after, uh... Especially after lockdown, you know, I am, well, lockdown and just my lifestyle, that I am, I am so conditioned to work from home that at this point, if I had an office situation to go into, I would be hard-pressed to actually use it properly. I feel being stuck in one room is not for everyone. Oh, absolutely not. Admittedly, I've got a whole house, so that makes my life a little easier. There's an option that will keep the cursor in the window. Oh, cool. Let's check that. It was probably in here. I didn't check. Nope. Controls? Quick shot. Ah, only... Oh, mouse lock. Here it is. I might still be able to click out. I'll have to test that after we're done with this sucker. I really like these random status effects. Whoops. Hi. Balls. Man, that's super nice that the the poison on spawn affects just random like enemy helpers. Anyway. I'm just gonna try and mulch him before we go for this guy. Man, it's really cool. This is one of those roguelikes that, like, once you know the boss pattern, you really can actually just beat him without taking a hit. That 
to some degree, the regular enemies are tougher than the bosses, if only because they're less predictable. This poor boss. I am brutal. <laughs> but yeah, it is a lot harder for me to click out now. This wonder already played Ultimate Adom. Nope, I wanna. End of the line. I wanna, but time. Ah. <sighs> All right, this is fun. I think I'm gonna stop here. Even though I'm, I'm loving this game to death and enjoying it thoroughly. But I also wanna conserve my enthusiasm for the early access release. Uh, ben Star, when do you want me to put these videos up? Like right before the early access release or, I guess actually, um. I should probably get them out sooner than later, because you might have, like, a, a an early launch for creators. Because I want to get this out to get the word out, but I don't want to, like, do it too early, because then people lose interest and forget about it. But I don't want to do it too late either, uh, where then people are like, man, this game doesn't have a whole lot of content. Okay, do it whenever. Uh, let's see. There's a possibility I might want to discuss with you so uh, something with you personally. Okay, cool. Well, one way or another, let me know what works, because I can't wait to play more of this, but I want to I wanna experience it in the best way possible, I guess, both for me and uh, for you. But as far as, like, the alpha goes, I'm having a good time with this. I can't wait to see some more crazy gun combos, because, like, we've already started to find some really good ones, and I can't wait to see more.